Hello everyone, welcome to the class. From this week, we'll start talking about the data analytics by using Python. In this lecture, I want to introduce two concepts to everyone. First, I want to introduce Pandas library to everyone. This is a built-in library for business analysts to perform data analytics in Python. Second, I want to introduce a cloud computing platform called Jupyter to everyone. Let's talk about Pandas first. Python is a very powerful system. You can use it to develop games, web pages, or perform data analytics. But before you develop applications for your needs, in addition to the Python program, you want to install some external libraries or functions so that your programming codes will not only understand the Python codes but also understand the specific codes for your applications. For instance, in business analytics, you want to install some external functions so that your programming codes in Python will understand the statistic models or mathematical models you build by using the Python codes. You have uh, several options, but uh, the most popular external library is Pandas. This is what we will focus in this semester. You have uh, several ways of using Pandas. The first one is you can download the Pandas library onto your computer and then use it along with the Python program you installed on the computer. The second approach, which is more popular nowadays, is to use Pandas in a cloud computing platform. If you use it in the cloud, you don't have to install the library onto your computer. You just need to use the keyword import to bring in Pandas library into the programming codes in the cloud. This is a much easier and quicker way to perform data analytics by using Python. This also made uh, data analytics in Python very popular among companies. In this semester, we'll be focusing on how to use Pandas library to perform data analytics in the cloud computing platform. Here I want to classify a misunderstanding. Some classmates ask me a very good question. Professor, I'm really interested in data analytics in Python. Should I study IPython, Jupyter, Spark, Hadoop, or Apache? This is a really good question. This is also a confusion between software and uh, Pandas library. No matter which software or platform you are using, eventually you will be using the functions, statistic models, or mathematical models offered by the Pandas library. So really, the software is just an approach, a tool. You want to get very familiar to the functions in the Pandas library. So in the future, if you change the software or platform, you can still use the functions offered by the Pandas library. This is something I want to classify before we move forward. As I just mentioned, a business analyst can choose different platforms or systems to use Pandas to perform data analytics. In this class, we'll be using a project called Jupyter. Jupyter is a cloud computing system for performing data analytics by using a variety of programming languages. This is a fairly new open source development for data analytics. But because of its ease of use, a lot of companies have already used the Jupyters in their business analytics. In the next lecture, I want to introduce Jupyter to everyone.